Hello people of the internet and welcome to this next video in the Turtles in Time Reshelled Edition. Uh, this is a remake or kind of a you know, kind of a remake of the um, Super Nintendo version. It's actually more closely based on the actual arcade version that was out before the Super Nintendo version came out. But regardless, we're going to get right into it here and play the next two levels. We are going to be a Donnie, of course, and we're going to head to 1530 AD Skull and Crossbones here. So in this version, um, they have, well, the arcade version, they have the boss of this level be Slash, which was usually the boss of the Super Nintendo version of the last level, if you happen to watch my last video. Um, but in this... Oh, I forgot about those boards. Uh, but in this version, they put Slash as the boss here, where usually it would be Bebop and Rocksteady would be the boss um, if you played the Super Nintendo version. So, little variations between them all. There are still some differences between this and the arcade version still. Um, mainly, uh, the thing that's different is the music. Um, the music, and there's not usually rock guys on the pirate ship. I don't remember rock guys on the pirate ship. Mainly because I played the Super Nintendo version a lot more than I did the arcade. Because the arcade version, uh, there was only maybe one arcade around where I lived, and uh, at the time I didn't really play games much, or I was just too young and didn't have a lot of quarters really, but Super Nintendo version I played many times. Love that game, and I'm getting my butt kicked right now. But, so it is a, it is a variation on that. Uh, main thing that is different is the music, so... But it still has that classic arcade feel, that classic beat em up style. Um, so it is very nostalgic feeling here. Oop, don't want to hit those boards. The boards that are a little bit darker in color, if you step on them, as you saw a little bit in the beginning there, it'll uh, come up and hit you and hurt you there. So I'm going to want to get that pizza from the other direction. Pizza time, let's do this. And I am surrounded like crazy. Nice, that. Oh, I hit the board. I was gonna say that bomb really. Oh, I hit that board too. I don't, I don't have to worry about hitting any boards. Let's just keep using the special. The special attack uh, in the Super Nintendo version actually takes down your health, whereas in this one it, um, it doesn't do anything. So I'm just gonna spam this right now to get rid of all these guys. Uh, that's the special pizza. I don't think. Oh, yep, I need it. Get over there, hit that guy. Nice. Oh man, look, I don't even see all these boards. In the Super Nintendo version of this, you can better make out the boards that are going to come up and hit you because they have a little notch by them. Um, this one, they're just color different, and I'm not even paying attention to that. Should. Am I going to have enough health to fight Slash? Hopefully there's a pizza up here. Okay, there is. Oh wait, i got to get rid of him first. Hopefully I can get through these guys without dying. There we go, there's Slash. Oh no! This is uh, Token Razor, I'm sorry. I was thinking Slash, but this is Token Razor. The uh, the silhouette in the beginning looked just like Slash, and for some reason I was thinking that was Slash, but it was Razor. Which, these versions of them look really cool. Alright, I'm going to try to be conservative here, and I'm going to focus on one. And hopefully get him out first, and then I'll take Toka out here. Aww, look how cute. And I didn't even have to use a fire extinguisher. We got both. Sweet. We will move on to the next one here. Alright, Shredder, where are you taking us? We are going on a train. We're going to fight Leatherhead here. I still haven't gotten a one-up from... Or did I? No, I don't think so. I haven't got a 1-up from points yet, so I don't know what the point threshold is as far as getting in an extra life. In the Super Nintendo version, it was, uh, I think, 2,000 points. Um, and in this one, I'm not seeing it quite yet, so we'll see what happens and see if I do get an extra life. I don't think I'm going to run out of lives before the end of the playthrough. Uh, we're playing just on a normal setting, just so we can kind of have fun and play the game, but um, I don't remember what that threshold was. We'll see. Would be nice if we can get this game done with just the remaining lives that we do have. So we don't have to reset our tally here. Oh, come on. Threw him at the screen. Okay, so we've passed 5,000 points and still didn't get an extra life, so I'm guessing there may, there may not be any extra lives. I don't know. Oh, well. There, there's a pizza power. Which I'll use here in a second. Doing okay on health for right now. Threw him at the screen, very nice. Alright, 
gonna let them come over to me here first, and then I'll get the pizza here in a second. Well, I ended up getting it anyways, but that's fine. Oh, I should have seen that, and I saw the box moving. Oh, no, that was cool. i never seen that before. The foot guy was on the edge, waving his arms to keep his balance. That was cool. i never seen that. All right, these scorpion foot soldiers are really bothering the heck out of me. There we go. All right, so we've got a bomb here. So let's light this thing up and jump out of the way. That helped. Awesome. And we're going to have about a little less than half our health left for the boss. Unless there's a pizza. I think there is one more pizza coming up. Oh, I may actually die here. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Yep, there's... Oh, that's a... Benny pizza, but let's get it. That works. Pizza, nice. All right, Leatherhead, what do you got for me? Ah, he can run really fast. All right, let's get this. He goes back and forth, and then he throws out knives. How many times do I hit it? Four, four times, and then he... Shoot. I can hit him once, and then I gotta back away. Using my special attack gets me far enough away that he won't hit me most of the time. Rather than... Now, see, there, and then he shanks me with the... If I can use the special attack and get through him... And I just learned you could double jump. Wow. That's how you do it. Well, at least one. In the Super Nintendo, you would keep spinning your your bow around, but you can double jump, and then once you double jump, you do the attack, and... Oh, crap. You do the attack that I like. The, uh... The attack with your bow there. I'm just learning everything. I probably knew about that back when the game came out, but it's been... Well, this came out in, what, 2000... I don't remember. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna die here. Ah, crap. No! Nice, there we go. 5980. Cowabunga. We are completed with our second level for the day. Awesome. Two deaths that time. Um, that kind of sucks, but oh well. We'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Next time we will move on to the next two levels, which should be close to the end. I think we only have uh, a couple of the future levels and then the Technodrome, and we should wrap things up. So I'll go ahead and finish this up here. So thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, and if you like the video, if you like the, the Turtles and Time game here, uh, leave a couple likes down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, and if you guys have any ideas for games that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. I've got games going all the way back to the Atari days, so if we've got it, we'll play a couple for you here. But like I said, I'll go ahead and wrap things up here, so thanks again for stopping by. I will talk to you guys soon, and as always, keep on gaming.